Hey guys, um, this is video three in our Learn Design Space um, tutorial that we're doing. And I know it's been a while since I did video two, and I apologize. Um, what I want to do though is I want to go over something that I talked about in video two. I, I didn't like how how I did that, so um, we're gonna go over the slice feature one more time, just real quick. Um, so I'm gonna show you another way to use the slice feature. I'm going to search for a rectangle, and it helps if you spell it correctly. And I just went to insert images. I'm um, sorry. So we're gonna grab this one. And we're going to import that into our design space. And then I want to add a card. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I use pre made card bases. And I really like a lot of the cards that are on the Artfully Sent cartridge from Close to My Heart. So I'm going to bring up that. Now, you won't have access to this unless you own this cartridge because it's a special licensed one. <coughs> But um, you can still get at the idea of what I'm doing. Um, so let's grab this one. Now you'll see when it comes into Design Space that it has a front and a back. Well, that doesn't help me because I have a pre made card. I don't want the back, I only want the front. So I'm going to make it bigger because we all know I'm like things big so I can see what I'm doing. And I want to unblock or unlock this, which I could do here, or I can do here. I'm just showing you that. I'm gonna unlock this so I can make it bigger than my card. I don't need to make that big. But so it'll cover here, like so. Okay, I'm gonna put it here like this. Now you can't slice when there's more than two layers. So I need to first detach this set here. Okay. Now I'm not going to need the score line because I'm not going to be folding it. I'm going to cut just the front piece out. So I can highlight on this and delete it. I don't want it. And then I'm going to highlight this piece and I'm going to move it to the front. So it covers the back half of the card that I don't want. Now because there's only two things here I can say select all and it's going to highlight them both and you'll see the slice feature appears. So I'm going to click slice and it's done. So now I have the card back and then I have my ginormous rectangle that I didn't um, need anymore. Now <clears throat> What I do with this is I will then make this a separate color and I will move this piece to the front and I will put this piece on my pre made card base and then I will put this piece over the top of it and stick it down. So there's the front of my card and I just took one, one basic pre made card and cut it in half. And that's one way you can use slice. So I hope that cleared that up a little bit for you. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me on Facebook groups, Cricut Craft Room, or um, Cricut Explore and Design Space right here on YouTube, or you can just message me in Facebook. So there's that. Now today what we're going to go over, I don't want to say this, is uploading an image. How do you get those pictures in? Um, you have on your computer. So what we're going to work on today is a basic upload. JPEG, GIF, PNG, or bitmap. Those are your standard excuse me, picture um, files. So I've already gone online. I just googled antique bike and here it is and I have saved it to my desktop already. So I'm going to say upload image and then browse and go to my desktop and find bike. And there it is. Open. That's the file I want. Now it's not, it probably could be simple, but I'm going to choose moderate on this one. 
simple is image with high contrast colors and with the transparent and monotone background. I don't feel that we have that. We have a lot of shades of pink going on here. So I'm going to choose moderate, which is simple details and color with good contrast between subject and background. We do have that. So I'm going to click on this. And then the other option would be complex image. Images with fine details, blended colors, or low contrast between subject and background. These are harder to clean up. But we're going to use moderately. And we're going to hit continue. Now, that's huge. Can't see it. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit until it gets into a more usable size. And we can scroll this way. So this little wand up here is the magic wand. Wherever I click, it's going to take that color and take it away if it's a touched color, okay? So I have these um, little blue squares now. So I don't want this outline here either, so it's gone. Looks like I may have some here still. Maybe harder to clean up with that. Oh well. And then inside here, <clears throat> every little nook and cranny. You, you want it to have this little blue checker box through it. Because all we want is the bike. So I have to go through every um, spoke, every because it's not continuous. And I'm going to enlarge to get these other little pieces here in a minute. So we just click, click, click. I did this with a uh, John Deere tractor image at Christmas time for my nephew because he he's um, gosh I hope I don't get in trouble for this he's. 11 I believe, going to be 12, and he works on their neighbor's farm. It's so cute after dinner. He tells my mom, oh, got to go work on the farm, got to go to work. And he told her he wanted a tractor for Christmas. So I took a John Deere tractor that I found and imported it into Design Space and did this and put it on the tumbler for him with his name. So this gets a little cumbersome. But this is the process. Kind of go through these however, how fast it will let me go. Find out. This one had two colors in it, so I gotta get them all. So did this one. Now I know I've missed some, and we're gonna. Oop! See, and I clicked on the wrong thing. You don't. I didn't want that. So I just hit undo. Come on. There we go. And it'll bring it back. Okay. Now these little ones, they're they're hard to get to. So I'm gonna zoom in on this and you can scroll down. I miss them in here. Let's see if we can make this bigger. And in here. We got some different colors going on in here. And this one. So you get the, the idea of what I'm doing here. I think this around this little rim is going to be. Harder than I want to get into detail wise here, but 
So I'll come down here to these. If there's a variation in the color, you're going to not see the little blue check come through. So, I mean, and really, who's going to pay much attention down here with this stuff? But this is going to give your cut lines. So if you're cutting on vinyl, this is what's going to do it for you. In here, and I don't really know how how much time I would really spend on these really really little intricate things, especially if you're not doing it really big. But so we need this. The other wheel. Maybe this in here. And it's just because there's a variation in the color as to why those didn't um, just fill in. And I don't have my glasses on, so maybe these are blue already. I can't tell. Oh, the joys of going blind. I'm not really. I shouldn't joke like that. Um, but I do have the need for glasses. Okay, so pop in these real quick and we'll call it good enough. Oop, and see, I did it again. I'm just going to undo that. Come right back to these. Okay. Okay, so we're going to zoom out again. Now, if you don't want this, freevector.com, you can go here to this little erase feature, and you get this circle. I want it a little bit bigger. Ooh, a little bigger still. And... You can erase it. Just click, click, and then we'll take it away. I would always give credit to where you got your image, though. Come on, my computer is going slow. I don't know why it's not taking those away. You can just click and drag too. That's easier. Now, if I hit preview, it's going to show you your cut lines. And we still have that one around the border, and that's going to be fine for right now. We can actually crop it out if we wanted. So, this is going to, all these red lines is going to be a line in Design Space that cuts. Okay. So, if I wanted to, um, erase those lines. I would just go like this and erase them so that they weren't there. Let's try over here, go across. We don't really want them. Rid of those. So it takes some time the more detailed your image, obviously. And now, now when I click preview, you're not going to see those lines that were around it. You have just the bike. And that's my circle from erasing. I can get rid of it by going there. <clears throat> so now I think, okay, we're good. So we click preview off and then go to continue. Now it's going to show you these are your 
your lines that are coming in. Now if you want to tag it so that you, when you search in Design Space for an image and you type, type in bike, it's, or you're naming it bike, but if you're typing in your tags here, you could type in bike and antique. And then even when you search for either of those things, it's going to come up. Now if you're wanting to do this as a print to cut image, you're going to leave that check mark box checked. We don't want it. We want to do it as a cut file. So we're going to uncheck that. And now it's just going to be our cut. And then you hit save. And it thinks and it saves. And again, this isn't perfect. You know, I've still got some there's some things going on in my wheels, but it's good enough for now. So let's see, there's the tractor I did for my nephew, and here's different things I've done. So now if we click on here, we get the green check, and it shows it down here, and we insert it into Design Space. And it doesn't like it. It won't let me use it after all of that. That's a new error I haven't seen before. And of course we get this right now when I'm trying to show this. Um, hmm. I haven't had that in a while since um, since they did the software update. So what we're going to do is we're going to close, oh, there it was and I just killed it. I'm going to try it again. I don't have to start over because I've already imported it. We're just going to try and bring it in again. Okay. Still logged in. Create new project. Mm. Darn it. So now we can insert an image. And if I type in bike, I should see it. It's going to be in this mess here somewhere of all these bikes, but we can go to uploaded images and it's going to be right here too. So we're going to try this again and hopefully it doesn't say it's too big. Mm, I'm at a loss. I think it's thinking that one like it was before. I think it's going to do it. I wonder if I need to, um, there it is. Oh, did you see that? Cancel, cancel. Oh, it was there. Shoot. Well, oh, there it is. Ooh. So there's the bike. So, ooh. you can now cut that. And obviously, I would need to do some cleanup before I imported it. The spokes were a little bit hard. And um, that's it. That's how you import an image. Um, see, I did. Um, I did this the Scotch ATG, ATG gun, and I used that for some t-shirts I designed for a crop. And then here's the um, tractor I made. Let's see if it'll upload that with no problems. And then I just cut this in, in green vinyl and put it on a tumbler for my nephew with his name. He was totally happy with it. So that is... That's importing a JPEG into Design Space and how you how you uh, get it so that it will cut. The main thing is to remember that you have to click that little box, that hidden little box, or it's going to come in as a print to cut image. And we don't want that. We want to cut this. So, get any questions? You know how to reach me. Hope you had a good. Uh, Ugh, I can't even talk. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a good evening and I will talk to you soon. Have a nice night.